Greetings, Earth Angelics of the New Jerusalem Connection. Waking up, rising up with the stillness energy of the Divine Feminine. And as we travel in between worlds through the middle path, I'm going to tell a quick little story and then get right into the transmissions today. Yesterday on the 410, the 10 2020, the 144 portal, as I met with my sister and nephews to celebrate her birthday, she turned 5 0 on 410. We were surrounded in the sacred portal by celestial angels and earth angels, with the new earth energies flowing in. Great Spirit gifted us with the presence of a sacred, precious little angel. My sister's boyfriend brought her flowers and sat down a little box on the table. And when he opened this little box, presented to us, was the most innocent, pure being I had ever seen. It was a one-week-old, newborn baby beagle. It looked like a tiny little Snoopy laying in this box with a blanket wrapped in a blanket. It's the runt of a litter of his dog. She was the most precious little thing, very still, with a gentle little breath. So I picked her up in my hands, and she fit in the palm of my hand, this tiny little angel. So I was up with this little being all night as I held her into my heart. We had to bottle feed her every couple hours so after i would feed her i would wrap her in this little blanket and every time she would squirm her way out and climb into my neck or down into my shirt to crawl onto my heart and i felt her heartbeat in my chest feeling that divine pure awareness precious angel of innocence and purity i'll post a short video and a couple pictures at the end so that you can receive this pure transmission of beauty and divinity and pure consciousness. In the next couple of days, I'll put out a longer video so that you can view and feel the energy of these new earth manifestations as we're being gifted by the great spirit, the awareness of our true nature, which is pure and clear and of the light as we connect with all sentient beings of pure awareness rising up through this great ascension, this great awakening, that we, as way-showers, we are the ones the world has been waiting for. For we realize that we are the world-honored ones. We are honored by the world, and the world honors us when we live from our heart, being in touch with our true divinity, our true selves, of pure consciousness, pure awareness, the unborn mind of Buddha, and living and feeling through our heart center, feeling our connection to all our kin, all our bro stars and sisters of the light in all timelines, all dimensions here now. And as we travel through the 144 portal, connecting with the 144 code of the crystalline DNA, and through this great transformation, transmutation from physical reality into the realm of light, the light body, of 5D as we release and let go of everything that does not serve ourselves and the collective of humanity through this unity consciousness. We ascend up through the resonance, through the frequency of our heart's true desires of peace, harmony, joy, and bliss. So be sure to stay to the end, for I know that as this precious little baby beagle touch deeply into my heart center, she will touch yours on a physical, mental, and spiritual level. Today's first transmission from Divine Sister Patricia Cota Robles, an expanded blessing from on high. This weekend we are experiencing a greatly expanded blessing from on high as we bathe in the light that is flowing through the collective cup of humanity's consciousness during the global celebrations of Passover and Easter, due to the need of the hour, Mother Earth and all life evolving upon her are receiving more powerful frequencies of the Mother of Pearl resurrection flame from the very heart of our Father Mother God than we have ever known. Today the company of heaven wants to remind us what an important role this gift from our Father Mother God is playing in our ascension process. 
please allow these words to resonate within the flame of illumined truth in your heart, the miracle of the resurrection flame. Eons ago, when the sons and daughters of God began experimenting with our gift of life and departed from the love-based qualification of our thoughts and feelings, our Father Mother God perceived the shadow of our miscreations taking form in the consciousness of our earthly bodies. They knew the fruits of those seeds would be aging, disease, disintegration, and decay. They further understood that some means of restoration would have to be provided to the children of earth who would one day desire to return to the perfection of our original God estate, to begin the process of manifesting that restorative power. Our Father Mother God breathed into their heart flames from the very core of creation the radiance of the mother of pearl resurrection flame the sacred fire is a multifaceted and multidimensional frequency of light by which the aged diseased distorted and disintegrating carbon-based substance generated by the misuse of humanity's thoughts and feelings can be purified restored rejuvenated and resurrected back into its original god perfection when all was in readiness our father mother god summoned a mighty solar archangel from the great silence to bring the sacred restoring flame to earth through the heart flame of this mighty archangel who is now known through all creation as the angel of resurrection the mother of pearl resurrection flame was anchored on earth from that moment forth the angel of resurrection has accepted the responsibility of bathing the earth in the resurrection flame in a rhythmic momentum the sacred fire flows through the portal formed during the march equinox every year and bathes the earth for several weeks in the northern hemisphere the resurrection flame is the frequency of light that awakens the hibernating animals and brings the plants and trees back to life after the dormant winter months the resurrection flame is also the sacred fire from the heart of god that resurrected jesus crucified carbon-based planetary body into his fifth dimensional crystalline based solar light body this occurred three days after the crucifixion on what christians now celebrate as easter sunday what the company of heaven wants us to know today is how the resurrection flame can assist us during the global crisis we are currently experiencing the sacred fire will help us to accelerate the divine alchemy of transforming our own carbon-based planetary bodies and the maladies manifesting in these bodies into the fifth dimensional crystalline based solar light bodies we will abide in when we complete our ascension to the new earth this year due to the need of the hour and the unfolding divine plan our mother father god have granted the angel of resurrection permission to breathe higher frequencies of the mother of pearl resurrection flame into our planetary grid of transfigured divine love these are frequencies of the resurrection flame beyond anything humanity has been able to safely assimilate in the past this is very positive confirmation that we are indeed making progress with our physical transformation this monumental amplification of the resurrection flame will quicken the vibratory rate of humanities and mother earth's carbon-based cells this will allow our i am presence and our body elemental to activate the core of purity in every atomic and subatomic particle and wave of our physical etheric mental and emotional bodies into higher frequencies that we have experienced since our fall from grace our body elemental will then be able to cast the mutated substances that are still contaminating our cells into the violet flame where they will be transmuted back into their original perfection this will clear the way so that each of our cells will be able to receive the highest possible frequency of god's fifth dimensional crystalline solar light when we invoke and freely partake of the gifts and blessings pulsating within the new frequency of the resurrection flame we will avail ourselves of the restorative and rejuvenating power that will greatly expand the activation that has taken place within our twelve fifth dimensional crystalline solar strands of dna and the twelve twelve catalyst codes within that dna by affirming the following mantra on a regular basis 
each of us will greatly accelerate the divine alchemy taking place within our earthly bodies as a note of clarity the term immaculate concept refers to the divine blueprint and the full divine potential of whatever we are invoking please listen to your heart and affirm this mantra as often as you are inspired to do so it is a gift from on high that has been building in momentum for millennia the i am resurrection and life mantra i am the resurrection and life of the immaculate concept of humanities and mother earth's physical etheric mental and emotional bodies now tangibly manifest and eternally sustained by divine grace i am the resurrection and the life of the immaculate concept of humanities and mother earth's physical etheric mental and emotional bodies now tangibly manifest and eternally sustained by divine grace i am the resurrection and the life of the immaculate concept of humanities and mother earth's physical etheric mental and emotional bodies now tangibly manifest and eternally sustained by divine grace and so it is dear one during this sacred and holy time allow these new frequencies of the mother of pearl resurrection flame to flow through your heart flame to bless you your loved ones and all life on earth in miraculous ways god bless you from patricia cota robles arrow of peace from arrow of peace dot o r g and for this mantra and the rest of the transcription of today's transmission you can follow the link in the description below the video or visit us at primedisclosure.com and today is the Ros red cosmic skywalker so every daily transmission is transcribed and posted to our website so you can visit primedisclosure.com anytime to review these transmissions and to follow along so today from divine sister victoria lillian quest an important message from victoria for this 4 11 2020 into the 4 12 2020 beloved family today i am guided to share this in writing it is shared on my audio transmissions during my filmed encounters we are actually now already in the 5d world when we interact with this 3d like shopping tv it is actually from our past the illusional world or the world of illusion thus when we sleep going into a slumber like trance state we are actually going back and forth between the worlds during our sleep episodes we receive instructions to navigate this old reality which is dissolving quickly last night every star and ship in the universe was over the home where i am staying our galactic family came to report for duty and i thanked them and offered my promise as well to serve ezekiel came and jesus also was here with me like many of you all of us are experiencing this for me i have been out of my body most of the time this last week just allow it flow trust this process my beloved family of light soon we shall not be seeing this 3d world at all and will be totally grounded and merged into our new earth 5d our parallel reality is now merged with us to embrace endless joy perfect health instantaneous thought manifestation and our ultimate dreams such a glorious completion we are home alleluia infinite love and joy victoria lillianquist and from sister of the light lisa transcendence brown consciously generating new earth quantum codes this is the time to recreate yourself and your entire reality too in the image of fill in whatever is highest aligned for you as your soul higher self purest aspects of you create a new birth anew bring forth call forth anew and let the old completely dissolve resolve itself and you focus on the vibrational you open completely up allow all to be transformed allow new to birth come forth from within you and be bold enough to bring it forth and live it fully without the hesitation without the lack of trust without the programming of your old see your own new earth reality 
and live this fully with every particle, aspect, whole of you, with your every breath, with your every word, with your every act, choose which dimensional, vibrational, energetic version of earth you are willing to live. As what you do, think, believe, listen to, contribute to, and your act will create, or for the ego aspect and separation equal recreate, the next vibrational realities that come forth, arrive, materialize, as your own experience. Once you clear the density of the old with your whole body being so that your body can actually vibrate, shift, and hold the vibration of a much higher dimensional experience in response to you, there are those moments right now, it will always be this now, for time is a creation to explain, separate, and speed things up or slow things down. For human aspects, time is a limit, a constraint, and is fixed. For us, it's a perspective, an awareness, and something that changes, moves, disappears, and shifts, as it technically does not exist, therefore it is movable, and relative to vibration, energy, and light quotients that allow for quantum jumping, quantum movement, through the perception of linear time constructs that are only bound to the limits imposed by each, or as stretchable and invisible as one exists, flows and perceives, come into full presence and let all else fall away, get completely still, silent, and tune completely in to your body, your energy, and your surroundings, to nature, to silence, to frequencies and feelings, and then just listen, feel, observe, and let your overall vibration raise naturally and organically on its own. Just allow full surrender. No need to try to do anything at all. Honor this space, this vibration, this energy, and synchronize all with the light that emanates from inside, with the frequencies that you hear, with the energy of freedom, purity, and beauty, peace, softness, as it comes from deep, deep, deep within. And hold this fully. Allow your body to tune to a much higher vibration energy than before to facilitate shifting easier, to facilitate dissolving, clearing, recalibration processes easier, to support your physical light body in doing what it needs to accomplish the importance of all of this. Multidimensional existence is like a living, breathing vision board, yet it's a 360 degree experience and a quantum field. It's your inner visions and deep sacred connection brought to life, your inner access and your acts as to how you vibrationally live your life in every moment, nanosecond of every linear day. New Earth is an inner active experience, one where all hearts are connected as one, where all of life is interlinked, where symphonies of nature, cosmos, and surroundings all live, breathe, and move cohesively in divine harmony. It's your inner visionary brought to life, where you exist in all dimensions, times, simultaneously, and at once, where you see all from your own highest, purest, and most divine, sacred selves, including the distortions of all, and through your observations you are able to transmute, transform, and completely shift all into a whole new vibration, timeline, reality, yourself. Your current timeline, reality, trajectory, is always waiting for you to choose, is always waiting for you to shift, is always waiting for you to be your highest, purest, and most sacred, beautiful, divine, and powerful, loving, kind, caring, respectful, and contributory you. It always is just there and responding vibrationally to your every breath. It's always just there and responding to your every thought, belief, and act. It's always just there, waiting to see what you will be, do, so that it can respond, create a vibrational response to support your next experience. The coordinates for every reality are transmitted from within you. Experiences serve purposes, infinite ones. They teach, they awaken, they support humanity and our beloved planet as a whole, or they deplete, destroy, disrespect, and take from all. Each one's energy either supports, contributes, cares, and shows up to make a difference, or it pulls and transmits out frequencies, energies that take. Everyone on this planet has the capability to observe, 
master and fully align with much higher frequencies, yet everyone has to choose this. Otherwise, their own energy pushes or pulls in the opposite directions of this polarities. Part of each one's mastery and sovereignty is to master their own energy output, to learn to master all as light, to learn, remember, all as pure energy, and to dictate realities through mastering energetically, by shifting vibrationally, by tuning consciously, by transforming all into something new and completely different than what was unconscious, distorted, and misaligned out of harmony before. Every person on this planet has been beyond important roles, yet not in the way most perceive. As there are 3D values roles, there are 5D plus values roles, and there are nothing alike, opposites actually in most ways, until all can merge, unify all into one, and dissolve the polarization that occurs when two opposing energies, forces, present within themselves. For humans with this will present out there, one, so each can see, two, so each can consciously choose, three, because an actual physical reality experience is still required to get each one's attention and bring into awareness what each did not want to listen to, see, deal with, take responsibility for before, unaware that each was creating their own reality experience to come back around until each does. This is described in many ways, a karmic loop, an unconscious cycle, the never-ending loop until a breaking dissolution point has occurred, been achieved. That cycle end when we each fully shift to a whole new vibration that takes each of us out of that vibrational frequency bandwidth that created that whole experience to start with. Higher consciousness, humanity, humanitarian, new earth codes have been exponentially released for years. They activate within each one's DNA and physical light body, encoded in each one's DNA, evolving into 12 strands for full-on multidimensional reality existence to support, assist everyone with fully shifting into a whole new earth reality from inside so that outside can be a vibrational match to this. New earth has a whole new value system. It has a whole different platform and how all works is completely different. It will look nothing like old earth realities of before because that was not the highest vibrationally, energetically aligned as it was an experiment, a 3D experience that each pre-agreed to as a soul light being. It was just one part of an immense multidimensional process, just one phase of a massive awakening, transition, ascension, and evolution process greatly underway. This massive transition process occurs for each on an individual basis to push everyone in to awaken each to what was not visible before which includes various collective realities on a multidimensional level, a quantum level, which is completely nonlinear and instead vibrational, energetic, geometric, and combines all dimensions into one after separation has occurred. Separation can be felt. Unification can be too. Old Earth was built upon separation, duality, suppression, oppression, and immense fear and lack. New Earth is the opposite of that. Separation is experienced so that each can identify, observe, see, and come to understand what separation creates, so that each can consciously and fully choose unity, unification, purity, and love as each one's new way. No, it won't be easy when each was deep asleep. No, it won't be easy for each one's ego aspect because it goes completely against what the ego wants. This is duality and separation within itself. Unification occurs within. It brings forth immense love. It unites all as light and is what all agree to accomplish through each one's individual and personal ascension process, which is just a returning to full consciousness, returning through each one's own Christed, crystalline consciousness state, returning through remembrance, which occurs on many levels and continually all along the way. After these awakenings and experiences from deep within, then every other level of consciousness will activate for each to move through and body and clear every distortion associated with these as well. We are in a massive, pivotal, whole planet Earth transition process. 
from a completely deep state of amnesia to an awakened one. We're sleeping to wake up from one illusion, dream, reality, experience, and into a whole new one makes no logical sense at all. Where trying isn't necessary, where ego surrender with one's whole body being opens up access to everything, all dream and supports humanity, each other as a whole. Take this time to honor, respect, and allow your whole everything to completely come into full alignment within for your whole body being to fill with divine, sacred, beautiful light and flood, bellow, emanate out from within. Take this time to go deeper, to connect deeper and open up those new earth codes you hold within and be ready to uni unite, unify, and shift all completely to a whole new timeline reality when your whole body being accomplishes this. This is your time, everyone's time, to consciously and intentionally create, recreate all through vibrational alignment, sacredness, purity, unity, and living conscious creation codes fully to take great care with what you transmit out to call forth every experience that vibrationally and energetically comes next. With the utmost respect, love, and care, Lisa Transcendence Brown. P.S. This is not a one-time or sometimes thing. This is an every moment and every time thing. Vibrationally bring into highest vibrational alignment your own body, your own energy, your own thoughts, actions, and entire reality. Yourself, because you can. Yes, it will take effort at first, a ridiculous amount at times, yet once you do this, every time, then alignment is natural, organic, simple, and easy, because you don't allow anything to get out of vibrational alignment anymore. Hold your highest and allow that to come forth. It's for us all. This is love. You are the universe, the whole cosmos, Gaia, and all as one. You walk into your own reality, and this connects up to all and every experience is relative to a frequency bandwidth and overall transmission out. Want a different rea reality? Then you, we all, have to shift fully and hold this fully above all, all of the time. And when you can't, pull away and go deeper inside until you unlock the codes you hold within, until you connect with the energy, until you remember and feel a whole shift from inside and integrate the codes fully to apply to your whole life experience in every moment. You, we all, are a quantum generator and constantly transmitting everything out. This is what tells the external how to respond. Every vibration, every frequency, every code translates through a quantum language field and communicates through the exchange of quantum codes that you determine by where you function from completely and overall. A quantum tip See yourself inside the image in this video facing out. And we have a link in the description of this image you can download for this meditation. So see yourself inside the image facing out. This is your personal quantum field radiating, transmitting, emanating out. All new atomic codes are available now to all. Slow completely down to reach still point zero point presence and then expand your energy out fully and hold this until you become the whole field as light again increase your atomic field spin rate feel your vibrational oscillatory rate shift gravity may shift go at first as an as all acclimate learn to balance immense electromagnetics and light energy from within slowly, naturally, and organically from within through pure presence and becoming the whole quantum field. Pure presence. This is where vibrational alignment and full unification reset occurs. From Lisa Transcendence Brown, awakening to remembering.com. And from Divine Sister Laura Pleiadian, let it hit home the heart. Predictions and on and on, all that matters is love and the present moment. Are you heartless to believe that suffering is not real while thousands are dying? I am not specifying who is dying as this world shift continues beyond the plans of those on earth. This is about your heart. Wake up to the heart of it all. Let it hit home. Home is the heart, and no being is more valuable than another. Those in mass graves are no less or no better than you, so why not you? 
This is part of having compassion. If anywhere someone is suffering, we all feel their pain. Mastery is not heartlessness. Mastery is love. While this is literally part of the transformation process, do not ignore the integral part of your evolution. Use all that you experience to enter more deeply into your heart and face your greatest fear with love. Let us all awaken more to the true divine humanity, which is what will emerge out of the graves of those that left the world through this and the hearts that were awake to all of this now, not as a projection or winning the highest statistics that made your country better than others, Heartlessness plays no role in the new earth. This death of this world is leading the way through the hearts of those awakened to love. Love, no matter the race or place on earth that consists of no borders, no intel, no weaponry, no sexual orientation, no winning and no fight is the true unconditional love. Peace and love through the harmony of the heart, the only portal that exists. Enter your heart now while it is still beating. This is all you have, all there is. You do not take your home, car, and bank account with you. You only take your heart. Nothing else, nothing more. All now, we activate you through this love. Laura Pleiadian, the new divine humanity dot com. And from the Zolkin Times, Kin 13, Red Cosmic Skywalker. The number 13 is called Cosmic, and its key words are transcend, endure, and presence. The thirteenth day of any wave spell is always enduring, processing everything that has happened in the last wave spell, and then transcending that journey. So what have you learned in this last thirteen days? Sometimes cosmic days can be a royal pain, always of course depending on the day it is combined with. Today is one of my personal favorite days in the whole Zolkin because the number thirteen is the magical number in which the entire calendar is based on. Today is special as it is the 13th day of the 260 day cycle. Kin 13 is lucky. Today is Red Skywalker and keywords associated with it are explore space and wakefulness. These days are full of fun and adventures. The day Gandalf showed up and enticed Bilbo to leave his hobbit hole was probably a Red Skywalker day. Just kidding, but seriously, thinking outside of the box, taking the daring step out of your front door, is what Red Skywalker is all about. All it takes is a little courage. Open your mind and explore the possibilities. From Divine Sister Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Cosmic Skywalker, Kin 13, 11 April 2020, A Cosmic Explosion of Love, 11-4-2020, 11-4-22, a portal to new earth. Eleven four four equal two four four equal two eight equal ten. Eleven portal gate polarity. Twelve partnership cooperation union. Four form structure foundation earth angelic. Twenty two architect of peace master builder. Ten manifestation power leadership new beginnings. Kin thirteen equals cosmic consciousness, goddess, thirteen moons, natural lore, an expansive portal to new earth. And so, having arrived at the final destination of our journey, with Imish, our red mother dragon, where we have been incubating deep in the womb of creation, our main focus has been reawakening our feminine aspects of attuning to the importance of love, nurturance, and compassion for ourselves and our planet. Realizing the importance of self-love and the giving and receiving of unconditional love in order to grow and flourish and be born anew, our focus has been on self-love, self-care, and nurturing, getting in touch with our softer and more feminine aspects in order to embody the goddess energies in our being. This has been necessary in order to build up our self-esteem, confidence, and acceptance of our value in the world. Day 13 is about expanding this energy of divine love and compassion out into the entire cosmos. It is time to step up into our expanded and divine cosmic human presence and be seen in all our divine glory. We commenced our journey on day one with Kin 1, our red magnetic dragon, where we were magnetically attracting through our heart portal all the love and nurturance that we desire. 
Yesterday we experienced a love born from unity and connecting with our kin through the universal communication grid. On day 13 we transcend the need for earth or human love from our mother and realize the expansiveness of pure cosmic love that exists throughout the universe, easily accessed through the state of pure presence, a realization that all is love. Everything is born of love, and we all eventually return to love. Yesterday, the crystal tone enabled us to connect to the GGG, the Galactic Global Grid, or the Aethernet. Now that this is broadcasting today, it enables us star blossoms to connect to our star families and brethren throughout the cosmos. E.T. Phone Home, a brilliant day for contact and communications in any form with your cosmic friends. Ask for a sign and be prepared for some giggles. Tone of Creation, Cosmic Tone 13 in the spiritual realm. Action transcends, power endure, essence presence total expansion encompassing your magnificent presence the 13th day of the red dragon wave spell is the one that gives closure as we see the totality of what is and start shifting our perception we awaken the mother goddess within us and accomplish what we have been expressing through love nurturing and compassion through the power of stillness and pure presence we have transcended our earthly needs and can experience the total cosmic soul expansion through bliss. And so mote it be, precious hearts, a brilliant day for dreaming, astral traveling, time traveling, and sky walking. Tune in and align with the endless cosmic flow. Today's question is, now that I have embodied more love and accept my value, how do I expand that into the cosmos? What is my next adventure? Tomorrow begins the white wizardry day to the power of six, the Christ heaven frequency. We enter into the realms of high white magic for the next 13 day cycle. This wave spell is where we have claimed our cosmic presence and stepped up into our power. We can then create endless white magic in our world through the power of love. May you navigate your way throughout this expansive cosmos of infinite love to bring home the treasures you deserve. Happy adventuring, space cadets, and Lakak Alakin, Christina White, magnetic world bridger, Kin 66, Kin 13, red cosmic skywalker. The mantra, the code for the day is I endure in order to explore. Transcending wakefulness, I seal the output of space with the cosmic tone of presence. I am guided by the power of navigation. And there we have it, beloved beings of light. We are navigating through the eternal, infinite, pure awareness of our true self through the new earth manifestation and activations. So with this pure awareness and this awakened consciousness, put your awareness in the blissful center of your sacred temple, your sacred vessel within Seek the kingdom of heaven within and place your awareness there now for a moment and let go into this feeling. Love is here now. God is here now. Love is here now. God is here now. Go deeper and deeper, deeper within that feeling, that pure presence, that pure awareness of your eternal God self, your Buddha mind, your Buddha nature, your pure awareness, and feel that love, that bliss, that joy expand out into the ends of the universe, into eternity, into the infinite, into all timelines, dimensions, all time and space, and beyond all that exists and all that does not exist, beyond the emptiness, beyond the form, penetrating and activating every aspect of self, of our true self. All things are perfectly resolved in the unborn mind of Buddha, creator, source energy, here now, through the higher dimensional aspect of the host of hosts, the holy of holies, the sacred vessel, the divine rainbow bridge. 
Let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your visions, your dreams, your synchronicities. Have a beautiful and blessed Easter Eshtar day as we activate the resurrection codes to help resolve and release all sentient beings of pure consciousness from the suffering program, from the separation simulation, and release all beings in bondage. We are all being freed. The freedom codes activating. 44 divine fully activated into the 5D of 5, the pure 5 elements, in peace, harmony, and joy, and bliss for all together as one. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below the video and the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future uploads. And you can view all our transmissions on primedisclosure.com. And you can connect with our team of the Divine 44 on Facebook. Just search Divine 44, Rainbow Tribe of the New Earth. Keep walking your path with heart, divine beings of light. Enjoy the following short video and image of this precious angel that heals all with its sacred, pure consciousness. I love you all. Namaste. Namaste.